My goal for this year is to make an Astro Backyard YouTube video for every clear night imaging session I have in 2017. Hi everyone, this is Trevor from astrobackyard.com. Tonight I'm going to be trying out some new astrophotography equipment here in the backyard and uh, I'm going to be imaging the Rosette Nebula, one of the most beautiful deep sky objects in the winter night sky. So I would like you to join me uh, as I trade sleep for images of some of the most breathtaking objects that one can ever see. So the first piece of new equipment that I'll be using tonight is this new auto guiding camera. Well, that's what I'm gonna be using it for anyway. It's a, a, it's a CCD mono camera from Altair Astro. Uh, it's called the GP Cam. And uh, I just noticed here it says, do not plug camera in until drivers are installed. So I'll definitely do that first. But let's take a look at the camera. So as you can see, it's very small. It's much smaller than my Mi DSi Pro 2. So we'll just go directly into my guide scope. And the really cool thing about this auto guider is that it has a built-in ST4 port. So that means only one cable between this and my laptop. And uh, so let me just pull it out here. Here's the ST4 cable here, which will go from here to the Skywatcher mount. And then this connector here into the guide camera and into the laptop. So it's uh, also just being very lightweight and small is uh, advantageous too. You want uh, you don't want to add any extra weight if you don't have to to your rig. So I'll be trying this out tonight and using it. Next up, I have this guide scope from Altair Astro in the uh, Star Wave series. This is a 50 millimeter guide scope. Uh, the focal length is 200 millimeters uh, and with an aperture of f 4.1. And uh, so this guide scope I will be uh, attaching to my Explore Scientific ED-102 uh, via the existing rings I have on there. And uh, so I'll be using that new auto guiding camera here with this 50mm uh, guide scope and uh, see if I can get my auto guiding uh, even better than ever tonight. So I'm just having my first look here at the uh images coming through the new auto guiding camera and uh, I can already tell it looks so much better than the Mi DSi. What a smooth image. I haven't built a dark library yet but uh, uh, I'm just adjusting the focus which is also super smooth. I've just got a three second refresh rate. I'm gonna change it to a second and a half. So connecting the camera was actually very straightforward. I did have to download the latest version of PHD2 guiding uh, and then when I did I was able to select the Altair camera uh, the exact model I have here and then the mount is on camera uh, so they're both connected now so it's a bit different than I was than I was used to with the Mi DSi and the uh, Orion 50 millimeter so some early thoughts on the Altair auto guiding camera and the uh, Starwave guide scope. Uh, first impressions, uh, I love the focus, the focuser on the guide scope. It is much smoother than the Orion 50 millimeter. Uh, and the camera is nice and lightweight. It doesn't take up too much room either. I found with the Mi DSi, I was constantly bumping my headlamp into it when I was looking through the eyepiece during uh, alignment. And then, so I downloaded the drivers for the camera, which were very straightforward online. And then uh, 
I had to update PHD to guiding um, to find the Altair camera. After I did that, it was right there. It was a selection on camera. Uh, and then the image I saw through the camera was really nice. It was, uh, it's a very sensitive camera, very uh, low noise. Uh, I'm just not used to a, a newer CCD camera like that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, as to be expected, there's a few changes I had to make uh, in PHD to get a solid graph. Um, changing the uh, aggressiveness of the right ascension and the declination and uh, some experimenting there, but I think I've got it now. So I am up and running, uh, taking some HA on the Rosette Nebula. It's supposed to be clear all night long. Um, unfortunately, that object will hit the roof of my garage in about two hours, so uh, if I get two hours on it, that would be great. But uh, so far, so good with this new equipment, and uh, I'm really liking it. And it was uh, it's on loan from my friends over at uh, Ontario Telescope. <laughs>